Ah, the Wii U. It's been in the news this year with the closure of the eShop. And I know that there's some people out there that this still is their favorite console. First party Nintendo franchises are still excellent. And even though the library is small, there are some timeless classics. You know, Mario and Zelda are heavily represented on it. And you're going to have your favorites. We're not talking about any of those. I'm looking at some of the bad games on the Wii U, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently today. I'm gonna to take five games that are known to be pretty bad. I'm gonna look at them, I'm gonna show some footage and ask this question to myself, is it really that bad? So I picked five games that I think are known to be bad, play them myself and give you feedback. Are they really that bad, yes or no? So you may wanna sit back and relax. You may wanna grab some popcorn. Here we go. First up is Funky Barn for the Wii U, and it was also on the 3DS known as Funky Barn 3D. And this is kind of a simplistic strategy game, and you know, it's kind of bare bones introductory. And the, the, the feedback from early reviews was the price point didn't match this game. I mean, a lot of people thought that this game should have been offered at a, at a cheaper price. And you know, the 3DS version of this game is a lot cheaper. This is, uh, a harder to find Wii U game for a good price. It's still in that $50 range, but you know, playing it, uh, you know, I don't know if I necessarily love the premise, but I did actually find myself enjoying what they were trying to do. You know, you're, you're pretty much trying to grow and raise a farm and equipment. And you know, the usage of the Wii U gamepad was creative. And I found myself wanting to continue to play this. You know, that's what it comes down to. Is this game fun? And, you know, I know that there was a lot of people that didn't like this game. I had it in my collection and decided, you know, I, I want to check this out. And so I did enjoy playing this. And, you know, overall, I would say yes, I would go back and play this. I do want to probably check out the 3DS version as it's, it's like a, a half the price plus. So yes, going back to that for sure. Next is Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two. And oh boy, wow, I'm a big platformer fan and I like the first Epic Mickey and boy, did I not like this. Everything from the controls, the Wii U actually makes it more complicated. I have not played the uh, Wii version, though a lot of people in the reviews said the Wii version is better, as well as other platforms make this better. So the big thing here is the control. The control does not make this game enjoyable, at least on the Wii U version, which I play here as, you know, you're, you're, you're coloring enemies and you can spin, dash them. But wow, I did not like this. Uh, the frame rate does stutter. It's hard to show in this footage, but uh, it wasn't that great. And for me, I you know I'm a I'm a big fan of uh, typical uh, other Mickey games, especially like the 16-bit era ones. But man, I did not enjoy what I played of this, and it was disappointing. So yeah, I definitely want to go back and play the original Wii version as that's what uh, other people recommended and other platforms. So sadly, at the end of the day, this is a no for me and it comes down to control. I did not enjoy playing this whatsoever on the Wii U. Avoid this and play it on something else. Next up is Hello Kitty Cruisers, which was also ported to the Switch. And this is obvious, kind of a cutesy Mario Kart style racing game with iconic Hello Kitty characters. And you know, this obviously is targeted towards a different audience than myself. And you know, what did I think of it? Very bland, very bland and kind of boring. And you know, just looking at, you know, what are other Mario Kart racing games on the Wii U? Well, of course, Mario Kart 8. And so that is a huge game that I would rather play than this very bland and obvious Mario Kart ripoff on the Wii U. And so, you know, unless you're like a hardcore Hello Kitty fan, I just did not find the value of checking this out. It's actually a fairly uncommon game to find on the Wii U. So on top of that, you can find a copy of Mario Kart cheaper and you're gonna enjoy that, you know, 10 times more. 
So looking at the library of the Wii U, would I go back and play this? Absolutely not. I would definitely go check out Mario Kart, wonderful game. And this is just a, a blatant ripoff. It's trying to cash in using Hello Kitty characters. Uh, I didn't find the variability of the different vehicles and it's a big no for me. This next one had abysmal reviews and that's Fast and Furious Showdown. And I know that this is not a great game, but I hadn't played it before and it was in my library, so I fired it up. You know, the CG scenes were pretty bad and you know, that that's, you know, skip that. They're not great at all, but the actual gameplay, uh, is it great? No. Would I play it again? Probably as you know, even though the, the missions and the levels were fairly repetitive, the control wasn't that great. But you know, if you're a Fast and Furious fan, then you know, I, I would forgive this. Uh, you know, for me, it's the middle of the road, and I know that, like, you know, there's a need for speed on the Wii U that's much better, but I would go back and probably play this. Uh, am I the biggest Fast and Furious fan? No, enjoyable movie series, you know, popcorn entertainment style movie but you know is the game great eh, not great and it's on some other things you can play it on the 3ds the 360 or the ps3 i haven't played those versions if you have played those versions let me know and even though the control isn't great this game is a lot better than the reviews as the reviews we're giving it like a 2 out of 10 nah i'd give it more like a 5 out of 10 of what i played and yes i would play it more i'd like to unlock some things and check it out again all right, next up is Family Party, 30 Great Games Obstacle Arcade. And I heard a lot about Let's this game. I read some reviews and started. wanted to check it out for myself. Is this really a bad game? And so you can choose your area and you have a kind of a generic character setup. And oh boy, I wanted to experience several of the mini games to give kind of a final verdict. And you know, all I can say is, Everything from the mini games being boring and monotonous to terrible control options. Uh, I absolutely hated this game. Uh, this one right here is somewhat semi playable, but it's so boring. There's so many other party games on the Wii U. Why would you check out this garbage? And you know, I had it in my collection, I wanted to check it out for myself. And everything from just dumb ideas, well, I named my character dumb. Uh, the usage of the Wii U pad, uh, if kids are going to play this, they're going to be frustrated as I didn't find the controls to be intuitive at all. They switch it up every different mini game and I just didn't enjoy playing this whatsoever. It's not a party game, it's party frustration. And you know, the obstacle course part of this game is checking out the control as I thought it was terrible. Some of the mini games are just absolutely broken and I just tried to find one game that I could appreciate. This mini game was okay, but boring. At least it controlled okay. You know, you're trying to, uh, you know, launch meteors into the earth. I just thought a weird premise. Absolutely hated this game. This is a big no, nope, zero, zilch. One of the worst games on the Wii U platform physical. So honestly, a mixed bag. There were a few of these games that aren't as bad as people say they are or the reviewers of the time. You know, sometimes, you know, games can come out and it, it's all about perspective. You know, if you're not the target audience, which some of these games I'm not the target audience of, but I actually found some enjoyment playing some of these. And, you know, I think that there's going to be people out there if you pick them up, or if, you can get, if you can get them cheap, they can have some value and I hope you enjoy them. So in the comments below, what do you think of these games? Have you played them? Do you think they're worse than I thought? And it was a simple yes or no. Would I play these games again? Yes. Or would I just avoid this? No. Or maybe I would, you know, this is a game that might be enjoyed by a different audience, maybe a kid, as some of these were targeted towards that. Anyways, thank you for coming to my channel. I've done several other bad games videos. I did this one a little bit differently. I just felt like doing it uh, the way I did. And thank you so much. Did you like how 
the, I did this bad game video in the comments below. Let me know that as well. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.